Woo! That was a clear. Oh my god, there's somebody right here. Oh, let's go. You wanna go? Come on, come on, get it. That's right, that's right. Got you. John Wick style. Let's go. Oh, I love this game. It's so fun. Here we go. Boom. Hit you in the face. That's right. You like that? Oh my god. What do you think you're doing? Oh, you want some too? Let's go. Get it. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Oh, all done? You want some more? Oh, toilet chips. Somebody want your tube. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Team Yeet's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do a review on Stride Fates. Now, this game has been anticipated since last year when it was first talked about. Now, it is released on November 9th, 2023. I was able to pre order a copy, get a little discount if you were one of the lucky few. I think it's like 10% discount. But, anyways, uh, the game right now is going for 30 bucks not too bad especially if you like bone lab and boneworks this is a great standalone game you don't need to plug it into your computer or anything like that this game has very very similar graphics and haptics and interactions with objects it's all very similar to bone lab you could see as i grab that guy's gun or the hand or the body uh it, it's almost identical to boneworks and bone lab now, a few things I did not like about this game, I'll, I'll talk about them right off the bat, and I'll show you a little bit later, um, was that when you went to grab items, uh, it, it was challenging, right? So I went to grab my gun, but really I wanted to grab that ammo. Um, you know, little, little things like that. I think after a little bit of development is done, which, you know, day one, right? You, you're gonna find all these issues, all these little things. Uh, th well, this is definitely one that the developers could fix. Uh, when when it is highlighting on an object and you go to grab, grab the buttons, you know, it, it grabs an item that's in your chest or an item that's on your sleeve, and, and that's not what you want. You want the item that you're pointing at, that you're looking at. Also, I noticed that my right hand uh, seems to not grab the items more frequently than the left hand. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I can't pinpoint the reasoning why that is. But anyways, this game. So it's a it's a mixture about uh, parkour and uh, you know shooting and violence and uh, it's a little bit of a mixture of both. Like you're this agent and you got to run across rooftops and jump through windows and it's really really fun in, the, in that world that you can do those things. Uh, I also like the interactions when you when you jump from window to oh from building to building, jumping through windows, grabbing onto ledges, all those things. That part is really fun, especially with all the games out right now. Where it's a lot of hand hand movements. Um, you have to jump and grab and hang on and and things like that, like climbing. You know, all that stuff is really fun. Uh, I did notice that if you if you do cross over your hands, like um, you're trying to reach over to your right or to your left and you're crossing your hands uh sometimes your hands don't grab it so much and it's a little bit wonky um my hands seem to bend at weird angles like my hands and my arms actually not sure why that is but the fighting and the killing i love that part of this game it it's so fun uh when you hit somebody they get hit and they go flying backwards and you can grab them pretty much anywhere and it will respond to where you're grabbing them. You know, another thing is uh, you have a shotgun or an automatic rifle or things like that. Now, this is where I, I have mixed feelings on. Yeah, it's cool. You can do it one hand, right? Uh, but actually, when I want to aim, I like to use two hands. I like I like to hold a gun as if it was, you know, actual in real life. So. Having a one-handed gun option is not the greatest. Uh, re there's not that much recoil, if any recoil. But the problem is, if you're aiming down the sights, uh, you have to like bend your wrist at a really high angle and, and then tilt your fingers down. So like you're, you're aiming almost at the floor to aim straight, right? So that that's ah oh man, that was that was very frustrating, especially when shooting the trying to shoot people from a distance. But definitely the knives, uh, the, the hammers, 
all those close combat melee weapons those are really really fun especially your fist you know you can grab grab and punch them and beat them pretty well uh, the blood is just the right amount it's not too gory uh, you can sit there and stab them and it will leave marks on the body but it doesn't like overdo it with the blood which is, is pretty nice you can see I'm hitting with the hammer and it's just little little spritz all the games you'll have just like blood everywhere and it's just insane um, reloading is a little bit interesting I wasn't quite uh, too thrilled about the reloading uh, you have to kind of just swing your arm to the right and then it automatically reloads for you but you know it's okay it, it, it's getting used to uh, just be careful of objects in your house because uh, you really you know in the moment you're swinging it you're gonna hit something you're gonna break your wrist uh, you, you kind of have to reach far down to get it to work so maybe have that a little bit closer or maybe even put it on a button or a magazine that you can reload you know that that's always fun I know you're doing parkour you're gonna be hanging from roofs you don't have two hands to do it so having that option is great but just giving it that little that little extra realism feel would definitely take it to the next level like you know if you're standing up not hanging on anything then you know you could manually reload the gun like maybe give it like an optional feel something but I really felt like I could do some John Wick moves in this game uh, I was thinking that the whole time while I was playing grab somebody's hand uh, twist their wrist so they don't shoot you shoot them in the face and move on to the next guy I, I like that a lot. Uh, in Boneworks, uh, you grab somebody, everybody just keeps on shooting at you. This one, the guys kind of stop because they don't want to shoot their own guys. So that's that's pretty cool to play around with. Um, I, I did not know that these guys had grenades uh, until I died by one of them. And, and there you can see there's a grenade right there. And it's, it's like an electric grenade. It kills you in one shot. So beware of those guys. Uh, they will just come out of nowhere. Uh, don't really can't really tell when they're gonna use them but they will uh, the guys with the armor so they have these masks and bulletproof vests but if I shoot him in the face it still kills them instantly like it almost seems like the body armor doesn't really do anything for them uh, which is makes it easier for the player but once again giving it that more realistic feel uh, would be an, a nice nice little thing you know up upgrade the uh, where the bullets hit is depending on how much damage is done uh, that that would be nice another thing is I found a lot of items like so many items and I'm not too sure like what they all do I know some of them upgrade your guns but I found like uh, just just so many different things and when I got to uh, the part where you have to hack into a, a room or something it's like almost like a little secret level in level one it wouldn't let me interact with it. I'm not sure why. Uh, I skipped over it in this video, but you know, just a few things. If give a little tutorial when doing it for the first time, right? Because you're not really gonna know what to do, and there isn't uh, really any hints or anything going on besides where you go in the map, which which is good. You know, I, I like those little navigator things. So, oh, see there you go. I'm trying to grab those chips, and like it won't let me do it. Very frustrating, guys. Gotta fix that. Make this game so much better. Uh, but what I was saying was, um, using that, that cell phone on your hand and interacting with new things should be some hints. Anyways, that's all I got for this game, guys. I'm definitely going to give it uh, one and a half thumbs up. I would have given it two, but just as frustrations of, of trying to grab something, around. it kind of, you know, displeased me when playing the game. It made it a little frustrating. Um, but anyways hit that like hit that subscribe guys we're doing live streams every single day we're playing fun games like this right now i'm i'm playing arc every day we're gonna get to day 100 anyways check it out it's not a virtual reality game it's a pc game for those of you who don't know what it is <laughs> you get some fun commentary between me and and some other people that i'm interviewing but stride guys stride that's the name of this game and it is very fun definitely recommend picking it up. Have a good one, everybody.